Hey, what a dooski guys, it's Farewell34 here with the Hybrid Network for a breakdown of the first Cloak & Dagger trailer. So out of nowhere, the very first look at a Marvel's Cloak & Dagger dropped today and gave us a glimpse of how the freeform show will be like. Fairly surprising because not too long ago, the series announced their leads, stars Olivia Holt and Aubrey Joseph as Hadley Bow and his dagger and Tyrone Johnson as Cloak. It seems pretty early for their show to show some footage, but let's get right into it. So the trailer starts off with both Tyrone and Tandy off as younger kids. Tandy is in a ballerina class and then later on is talking to someone which appears to be in present day explaining what happened that night. From the trailer it appears that she's referring to the younger version of herself and Tyrone when they met. It appears that they met up and saved one another underwater. The man that Tandy's actually speaking to in the car could potentially be Father Francis Delgando. He's a person in the comics who assists both Cloak and Dagger feeling sympathetic for them as they are on the run and gives them sanctuary at the Holy Ghost Church. Towards the end of the trailer she asked Tyrone if he was that kid lining up that this is most likely the event where the two first met and gained their abilities. We also see throughout the trailer bits and pieces of Tyrone running with someone with the police after them. Seeing this plus other shots of the cops and detective make me think they're sticking close to his origin story. In the comics, Tyrone and his best friend Billy witness a robbery and a shooting of a clerk. Fearful of being falsely accused, the two of them run away and ultimately get stopped by the police. As the police order Billy to stop, Tyrone tried to explain his innocence but couldn't because of his stuttering disability and the officer shot Billy dead. It appears that in the show, Billy might be an older brother instead of his best friend, seeing as he is very young in the trailer in the beginning and the person alongside him fleeing the police appears to be much older. Later in the trailer, we see several shots of both Cloak and Dagger running, which appears the two of them are on the run or runaways, not to mention in one frame it does look as if Dagger is homeless. What's interesting though is this also connects to, in the comics, both Cloak and Dagger gain their powers after the two runaways from home meet after Tyrone tackles a thief who tries to rob Tandy's purse. After receiving an offer of shelter from a strange man, they are both brought to a criminal chemist known as Simon Marshall, who experiments on runaway teens. By the looks of the trailer, it appears that they will be maintaining faithful to the source material with that regard. There's a shot of Dagger having a man pushing her against the wall and this could be Simon Marshall and possibly connect the origin of her powers too much earlier on in her life. Speaking of Dagger, we also have our very first look at her abilities. Essentially she is the living personification of light with the powers to generate super luminosity as we see her signature attack is a dagger that she conjures up out of light that we see in the trailer. Finally in the last shot of the trailer we see Cloak donning his signature look with the black cloak. As well earlier on when Cloak and Dagger meet with her hands lighting up we see that Cloak's hand actually has this dark going around it. This gives us a look at how his powers will look and his abilities. What's interesting is in this last shot there is a big easter egg to the MCU and that is the Roxxon Corporation. Yes, Roxxon is never up to any good as they've been seen and appeared throughout the MCU having shady ties. This could be hinting that they're possibly responsible for the abilities of Cloak and Dagger. Simon Marshall could be this criminal chemist that actually worked at Roxxon and instead of using synthetic heroin they might go something along the lines of some sort of serum. Apart from all of that, this show appears to be fairly drama heavy. Both Tyrone and Tandy appear that they'll be having some serious home issues with their family, ultimately leading them to flee becoming heroes all while forming a romantic relationship. The rest of the footage just shows some filler of them being in high school, for example Tyrone in a basketball game, and some shots of them with their family and meeting up at which appears to be an outdoor party or a bonfire, where it appears to be their first encounter since being children. Anyway guys, but that is my breakdown of the Cloak and Dagger trailer. What did you guys think? Are you excited to see this show on Freeform? Did you wish it, would, it could be on Netflix? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.